Hello, it's Anton. It's time for another episode of Goats and Game Changers. Today we're talking about the fastest man to ever live, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt is an interesting one because most of you watching probably know who he is, and that's not necessarily been true of the people who I've done and the people who I will do in this series. But for those of you who aren't familiar, We'll go ahead and start with who Usain Bolt is, why he's so great, and finally, we will confirm or disconfirm his GOAT status. Usain Bolt was born in Jamaica, and by the age of 12, he was already the fastest sprinter in his school. By high school, his lack of discipline was starting to take its toll. He really frustrated coaches, and he was so talented that he still did well, but a lot of the people who worked with him knew that he could do so much more. On one occasion before the Karifta trials, he hid from his coach in the back of a van to avoid his training. He was actually detained by police because of that. Now there was a bit of an uproar and he was released. Right after he was released, he set championship records for the 200 and 400 meters. By 2002, at the age of 15, Usain Bolt was already a massive presence, both metaphorically and literally. He was already 6'5 at the time. When in 2002 he won the 200 meter, he became the youngest world junior gold medalist ever. In 2003 he came back and got another gold medal and another championship record. He also equaled the world junior record in the 200 meter. In 2004 Usain Bolt went full-time pro and he spent the first three years coasting. I say coasting meaning he didn't apply himself quite as much as he could have. He was still an incredible athlete. He set several records and got a silver medal in the Osaka World Championships in 2007. It's worth noting that up to this point, Usain Bolt had done the 100, 200, and 400 meter races. He gave an interview saying that the reason that he didn't train harder was because he was a lazy athlete. Well, in 2008, he decided to permanently stop training for the 400 meter race and instead focus only on the 100 and 200 meter races. On May 3rd, 2008, he set a huge personal best, going from over 10 seconds to 9.76 in the 100 meter dash. Only a few weeks later, on May 31st, he set another record, going from 9.76 to 9.72 seconds, and more importantly for him, defeating the person who had beaten him in Osaka, another racer named Tyson Gay. With this comeback and two huge personal bests in the span of a month, Usain Bolt went to the 2008 Olympics. And there he made history, becoming the first sprinter to break the 100 and 200 meter world record times at the same Olympics. At the same Olympics, he introduced his famous lightning bolt pose and became a worldwide sensation. This is where most of us, including myself, became aware of Usain Bolt. At the next Olympics in 2012, he became the first man to ever defend his titles in the 100 and 200 meters. Then he did it again at the 2016 Olympics. So how does Usain Bolt do this? There's a few reasons. First off, he's tall. I mean, really tall. He's 6'5". Tyson Gay, who is the man who he supplanted to become the fastest man in the world, is only 5'11". In an article titled, A Kinematics Analysis of Three Best 100 Meter Performances Ever by Christoph and Mero, the authors discuss that Usain Bolt's stride length was almost 20 centimeters or almost eight inches longer than his competitors. This means that he has to run fewer strides once he's up to speed. Bolt is also strong. He's able to push off the ground extraordinarily hard relative to his size. Part of that as well is in the 2008 Olympics, he was significantly lighter than his competitors according to BMI. Essentially, he was taller and leaner. Usain Bolt typically didn't have the fastest starts. There were many racers, including Tyson Gay, who out of the blocks would be able to keep up and their legs were moving faster than his. But it was in the second half of the race, when he hit top speed, that he would really pull away and set records. That's just a brief overview of his career. He raced many, many times and set many, many records. I just want to highlight a few of his achievements, though. He is, to this day, the world record holder in both the 100 and 200 meter events. He's won eight gold medals, his six individual ones, and two as a member of the 4x100 event. At the World Athletics Championships, he's the most successful male athlete, and he's the first to win four titles in the 200 meter. He's one of only nine athletes across all of sports to win a world championship at the youth, junior, and senior levels of a sport. He's also the only male sprinter of those nine. Usain Bolt has 19 Guinness World Records, second only to Michael Phelps with the number of records associated with athletic achievement. Usain Bolt holds the world record, the championship record, and the Olympic record for both the 100 and 200 meter races. Now, for the final verdict. I suspect you watching have an idea of what I'm going to say, 
but I'll say it just in case. Usain Bolt was an athlete, incredibly gifted, who did not even push himself to his full potential and was well known for coasting towards the end of his races. But the reason that he could do that was because he was always ahead and he finished his Olympic career with a 100% win rate, getting gold in every single event he participated in. I would say that, in this case, Usain Bolt's GOAT status is confirmed. And that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed learning about Usain Bolt. I'm still a new channel, so please subscribe. It really helps. See you next time. You better run.